Hi, I'm Chris at the Wandering Bull Trading Post. Today we're going to talk about the recent collections that I purchased and uh, want to share with you folks here. We'll start with the top hats. This nice beaver top hat, probably 1850s. Um, great, great hat, nice height, little bit of wear around the rim. Inside. Two more top hats, certainly not as old. And let's jump over to the Pima basket. There's figures on that. And I think there's five figures throughout the basket. Nice scalloped rim. Um, condition is great. Color is great. And also the one in the back here. Look at that guy's got some... There's four horses around that with nice edge on the top. Once again, condition is good. And jump over to some clay pot. This little guy's a polychrome. has got three different color paints. Condition is great. Paint is nice. With the hole in the top, designed to be hung on a hook. Like so. Nice piece. Unusual with that shape. Jump over to a little black drinking cup. Not sure of the origins of it, but the faces are spectacular. I believe this guy is Mexican. So, from South America. Great etched design. Flip over the bottom. A nice piece. Just not native to this country. Um... We can look at some Haudenosaunee beadwork. They got three pieces here. Um, this stuff was made for the tourist trade and sold at Niagara Falls. All the tourists congregated there, turn of the century. And so these people were selling crafts to the tourists. Um, this is a wall pocket, great flower pot. I've never owned a piece with a flower pot design beaded in there. Also with a spectacular bird. Condition is good. This is a pin cushion, missing the pillow on the back. But look at the two American flags, that nice eagle in the middle, grasping that um, leaf with its feet. Condition is great, missing a couple little beads on the end. Um, I love that pictorial work. If we jump into the wooden totem pole in the back, he's northwest coast. Eagle on the top, a bear here. Looks like he's got his hands around a human there. A wood base, one nail in the bottom, signed. This is probably from 1920s, 1930s. We can jump over to the floral moccasins. This pair of moccasins, it's Cree, soft sole, brain tan, little patch in the back. I think that was added when they were made, just to make them bigger to fit an individual. They were worn a little bit. Condition is still good. The beads are certainly from 1940s, 1950s. That three-cut bead, typical of that time period. These moccasins in the back of Oto, Oto, Potawatomi, south of the Great Lakes. That abstract floral design with the white outline. Nice. Uh, blues, Cheyenne pinks, some purples. These guys have been worn. They are a soft sole. A fine example. These here are certainly Great Lakes with that, once again, that nice floral look. This pair hardly has been worn if they have been worn at all. Once again, a little patch in the heel. Some heel fringe. These, these operas spectacularly soft. Whoever tanned them was a master at tanning. A fine pair of moccasins. So, these are offered on the website. First come, first serve. Um, we're offering them to you in this case. If you have any questions, certainly give us a call. The staff is knowledgeable, can certainly help you with an order. Or jump online and do it online. Uh, thanks for watching. Go to wanderingbull.com.